Hello, this is Dr. J letting you know a little bit about the syllabus um, and expectations for the cell biology online class this summer. So in the first module, let's see if I've got this set up, um, you can find the syllabus and the lecture schedule right there. So we are going to go through the syllabus a little bit. Um, first of all, here is my email address. So you can email me through Canvas or you can email me directly from your UC Denver account. And if you are going to include attachments, so there's something you need to send me, I suggest you go from UC Denver to UC Denver um, email not through Canvas. A lot of times Canvas seems to lose the attachments um, and that will just delay our conversation. Um, feel free to email me anytime, seven days a week. Um, I always try to answer within 24 hours. Um, sometimes I'm on the computer a lot more than that. Um, but I am not holding any physical office hours this summer. I'm only teaching online. Um, with that said, if you want to get together and talk, then send me an email and we will find a um, time that works for both of us. So it's not that I'm not available to see you in person, it's just that I don't have any dedicated times like I normally do during the semester. Um, Becker's World of the Cell book. Oh, here, let me grab it, show you. This is, now I have no idea where this is actually getting, so I'm going to put it right in front of my face. So this is the ninth edition textbook. Um, lucky for you, it's been out for a while, so there should be cheaper copies than brand new. Um, you can purchase the eighth edition. Um, sometimes students find that it doesn't quite cover uh, everything that the ninth edition does, but I have put, and if you look at the lecture schedule, I have put chapters in the eighth edition. So I have tried to line things up that if you like to use the eighth edition, you can. Um, just know that I've never looked at it except for lining things up. I use the ninth edition. You don't have to purchase any access code, any mastering cell biology stuff. I don't use any of the online. Um, resources. How we're going to communicate is through email and through Canvas. So be sure that you receive a notes, announcements, some kind of notification in your email that I've sent out an announcement or that you're checking announcements and you're checking the home page on Canvas. I would say every day for a summer class, at least every other day, um, but that's how I would communicate as I post announcements and most students get those as um, emails. Um, it would be best if you put Biology 3611 uh, in your title or somewhere in your email or Cell Biology. I am teaching two different online classes. I have right now between the two classes um, about 150, no, only 105, only 105, 105, 107 students. So let me know what class you are communicating about. Um, please write in a professional manner. Um, like I said, beware of tone, and I try to beware of tone too. Sometimes I answer quick responses like, yes, that's fine. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm trying to get um, the response back to you. So um, I'm trying to be better about tone, um, but know that if I'm angry with you, I'll let you know. <laughs> um, I'm usually not angry with my students. Speaking of tone, you may have some tone with me <laughs> because this course is going to be a lot of work, okay? It's 16 weeks worth of stuff in eight weeks. We don't cut anything out. We don't skimp on anything. Um, normally in cell biology, we go through a chapter a week. Now, because it's half the time, you're going to be reading two chapters a week and taking quizzes on two chapters every week. It's a lot. Um, students have said they spend like 20 hours a week on this class. 
I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, that's actually reasonable because during, um, what do they say? Three hours per, three to four hours per credit um, per week. So nine to 12 hours a week for a normal and double that for summer semester. Um, so plan ahead. Make sure you have time. Make sure you have access to the internet um, for all these due dates. Um, give yourself uh, the best you can to succeed in this class. Uh, <clears throat> okay, learning outcomes. Um, you'll see in the modules, um, you'll have reading objectives for each chapter. Um, and links to videos and lecture PowerPoints that go along with the video. So I've provided you some resources similar to if this was a face-to-face -face class. Um, so the um, lecture, or I'm sorry, the chapter objectives, learning outcomes, I call them sa same thing, different name, learning outcomes, chapter objectives. Those are your guides for studying for the quizzes and the exams. I try to cover most of the objectives in my lecture videos, um, but you can get everything you need from the textbook as well. So what are you graded on in this class? You have, where am I? Chapter quizzes twice weekly. So you have a quiz due every Wednesday, a quiz due every Saturday. We'll talk more about those in a minute. You can drop the lowest two. You forget, you miss, you bomb the lowest two are automatically, drop, automatically dropped from um, your grades in Canvas. You have five homework assignments. Um, <clears throat> with these, you can work with one or two other people. I highly suggest it, um, partly so that you have someone to bounce ideas off of um, and you can get the maximum points. So that's 15% of your grade total. You have four unit exams. These are each worth 14%. So we do not have a final exam, yay, but you do have unit exams after every four-ish, five-ish chapters. And then the super thing, easy thing to get done by um, June 13th is to introduce yourself in the introductory discussion. So grading, you get points for everything. Um, they're weighted, so a quiz that's worth 20 points and I think Introduce Yourself says it's worth five, doesn't really mean anything. It's the percentages, and Canvas does a wonderful job at calculating all of this. Um, here are how grades are assigned. A, B plus, B, C plus, C. I don't give minuses because I found out I don't have to, and so I don't have to deal with that. Um, I don't round up, though, so if you have an 89.9, you're going to get a B plus. It's up to you to do your best you can in this class. Um, obviously, you don't have to attend class, but you do need to be present on Canvas. Um, so every at least twice a week, you're looking at taking quizzes, um, turning in homework sometimes, um, getting the resources. So plan to again have good internet access so that you can be successful in this online course. Um, due dates are always 11.59 p.m. so right before midnight. Um, I never do midnight because half the time I screw up the a.m. and p.m. and it gets all confusing. Uh, da -da -da -da. Um, okay so chapter quizzes twice weekly so let's take a look at this. So I've just made the days where things are due Wednesday and Saturday I'm trying to split it out over the week. So, June 6th, you have a quiz on chapter one in the appendix. Saturday of that same week, you have a quiz, um, one quiz that covers chapters two, three, and four. You will see that the quizzes are open on, for Wednesday quiz, they're open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it has to be done by Wednesday, you can do it as early as Monday. Saturday quizzes are open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So you have to do them by midnight Saturday, but you can do them as early as Wednesday. So you have some flexibility, especially if you have vacations um, coming up or other things that you know um, you don't want to be online that day. Okay. Um, here 
is where your five homework assignments are due. Okay, and there'll be links in the modules of that week for the um, homework. Um, the homeworks will be all posted here. I haven't got them quite finished yet, but here will be the homeworks. And then you can see, uh, let's see, week three. Did I put it there? No. So, oh yeah, here, homework one submission link. So you would click on this and you would upload your homework. If you've watched the previous video, remember that this practice submitting an assignment with images, this is like doing a homework. Okay, this is practice. It's not worth any points, um, but you have to do it in order to unlock the first week. Um, and this will make sure that you are uploading things correctly. I will look at them. I will give you feedback. It also allows you to look at that plagiarism report. The 30th of June and the 28th of July are when you have your two unit exams. Yes, you have two one-hour exams due um, that Saturday, that Saturday. They will be open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You don't have to take them both the same day. Um, you just have to get them done by midnight. Um, there's just no way with this tight schedule to avoid some doubling up. Let's see where out. Where are we? Um, answers. Answers to the weekly quizzes will be available until the next quiz is due. So if a quiz closes on Wednesday night, then you have Thursday, Friday, Saturday to look at those answers, and then those answers will shut down. And the reason I do this is because it's important for you to do immediate feedback. So go through your quizzes, check what you got right, check what you got wrong. You will have some short answer questions on quizzes, we will give you some feedback as to what you're missing. Always, always send me emails if you have questions about quiz answers, quiz grades, um, but I will not continuously reopen the answers. I want you to take that initiative, take that time to look at it right after you've been studying it because that's where it's going to be most helpful in your learning. If you miss a quiz for any reason, that counts towards your dropped quizzes. We talked about quiz availability. Um, homework. Um, if you would like to be in a homework group, let's go back to Canvas. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the People tab. Dun, dun, dun. And it's slow. And here's a list of everybody in class skip over that and we will go to oh, I probably shouldn't show you that homework group okay and there are 45 homework groups set up right now if I need to make more I'll make more and what you do is you basically I believe take your name and drag it into one of the homework groups Please don't join a group unless you've talked to those people. Everybody needs to put themselves in a group. If you're working alone, you'll be a homework group of one. That's fine. Um, you can have up to three people to help you complete the homework each week. Um, there's information about homework. Please read this. I don't want to go through everything. But remember the syllabus is a contract between us. So you are responsible for everything on the syllabus and I adhere to what I have written and published on the syllabus. So make sure you've read through it and you understand all the expectations and um, how you do everything. So you have to choose homework groups by June 13th. If you don't, you're working alone for the rest of the semester. Um, Turn it in will be used for homework submissions. This is to check for plagiarism. Um, I hate to harp on plagiarism, but in this class in particular, not obviously you guys, but online cell biology, I've had a horrible time with students plagiarizing. I don't get it, okay? I am not asking for you for anything to be worded perfectly. I try not to ask for definitions because I know it's hard to sometimes rewrite a definition in your own words. Everything, every answer you have needs to be in your own words. 
If Turnitin detects plagiarism, and that's why you're doing the practice assignment to see what that looks like, you can go back and fix things and resubmit. I always grade the final submission. Okay. If you're leaving it till 11.59 at night, no, you're not going to have time and that's your problem. But there's absolutely no reason to plagiarize. I don't allow quotes. I don't care if you reference it. It's still plagiarism if you're taking people's words, thoughts, um, and even changing just a couple words. It's still plagiarism. If you have questions, ask me. Um, help with homework. I prefer for you guys to work together so you can start a discussion group. We went over here to discussions. So, so you could come up here and add a discussion and you could title it. Mm, sorry. No. Homework two, question three. And then you could type in something. I don't understand. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And you go down to save and publish. And now this is part of a discussion board that anybody in the class can answer. And so you can come here and hit reply and help each other out. I will look at these discussions and try to help answering questions, but it's much more beneficial for you guys to help each other um, than um, me to give you the answers. You're just not going to learn the same. So that's why I say um, put it up on the discussion board. I do not read homework questions and say, yes, you have it. Um, that's what grading's for. So you can ask questions like, I'm thinking this, am I on the right track? And we can work from there. Um, but I won't read your answers and tell you if they're complete or not. Uh, unit exams cover only the chapters in that unit. So I have put here which the units are. So chapters 1, 2, 3, 4 are in unit 1, 7, 8, 12, 16, 19 are in unit 2 etc. The unit exams only cover questions from those specific chapters. Um, quizzes and exams are taken individually. I know, surprise. Um, please, when you go to take a quiz or exam, that you don't go and open other tabs. I have been told that um, uh, Canvas will flag you for cheating. Um, so don't, don't mess around. Just uh, take your quiz. It's timed. Your exams, they're timed. You can absolutely have what I call cheat sheets, right? Um, I will even encourage you for some chapters to fill out tables and have them with you. Because there are a lot of details, I want you to be able to apply those um, details. Quizzes and exams have time limits. Be aware, watch your time. Um, you need to do your introduce yourself, easy 5% of your grade, um, and there's multiple requirements. You have to have some kind of, uh, where does it say? Profile has to have some kind of picture. You don't want a picture of you? you can put a picture of your dog, your goldfish, scenery, something, okay? It helps me connect to you and then you answer a few questions and tell us about yourself. Due June 13th. Lots of stuff due June 13th. Uh, technology, um, have high speed internet, have reliable internet. If your internet shuts down during a quiz and it won't let you start over, you get the grade you get. I can't um, manage computer issues. Uh, you can always go online and talk to Canvas help or see you online help, um, but I am not technically able to do anything. Um, I highly suggest you save homework documents as PDF files. 
especially because you're going to be cutting and pasting or taking pictures of drawings that you've made and inserting them and sometimes Word uh, messes up the format. So I will only grade what you submit. So if half your image is cut off, then I'm only going to grade what I see. So make sure you can always, once you turn in assignment, view that um, document and make sure it looks good. Um, I think I've mentioned this, chapter objectives, learning objectives, this is what you need to know for the class. Okay. Uh, you're responsible for everything posted on a canvas. You don't want to check email, you don't want to check announcements, that's your issue. If things change, I will always put them um, in writing through announcements or on the home page, so you need to take a look at things carefully. Um, <clears throat> I have made lectures for um, all of the chapters, um, or I have posted uh, videos that I think help you understand the chapters. I highly suggest you watch these, but again, if you don't want to listen to me, you can read the textbook. Totally fine. Um, Canvas is set up in weekly modules. We've talked about that. Um, <clears throat> if there are any religious observances coming up this summer that um, will uh, interfere with you completing the course, I need to know now so that we can work things out. Vacations don't count. Okay, You've got to figure things out. If you're going out back camping for uh, two weeks with no internet, probably not a good idea to take an online class this summer. <coughs> Regrades, quizzes are homework, um, has to be done within seven calendar days following the posting of the grades. So take time and look at comments on homework, look at comments on short answers, go through and figure out why you got something wrong. That's how you learn. Um, I keep grades up um, <clears throat> for homework. My goal is to return it to you within a week. Uh, I do the best I can. We'll see how many homework groups we have and how many individual papers I need to read. Um, speaking of that, on homework, I don't always grade every single question. Some questions I'll reward points, award points for completion. Some questions I will grade for um, correctness. You don't know, so do all the answers the best you can. Again, academic integrity, no cheating, um, no plagiarism, no quotes. I have now found that students have been posting my homework questions online to, uh, a few of them use this Chegg site, and then they took the answers that the Chegg people gave them and turned it in for their homework. That is considered cheating. You do not need outside resources. Get into a group, work together to figure out the answers to these questions. So you're going to see that the quizzes have a lot of um, factual, right? Multiple choice, choose all, a little bit of short answer to kind of start thinking about the relationships between some of these terms. The homework tries to push you to put concepts together even more, okay? Um, you don't need outside help. Ask me questions. Ask your um, fellow classmates questions. You can get it done. Um, I'm just looking through this. Okay. More about plagiarism. Um, communication. If you have issues with this class, please get in contact with me. Um, I want to make everyone feel comfortable in this class um, and have the opportunity for everyone to be successful. So if you feel that there's something hindering you, let me know as soon as possible. Um, if you have a disabilities resource services accommodation, no problem. We can deal with that online. Um, most of the time it's uh, extended time on tests and quizzes. Totally easy for me to do, but you need to get that paperwork into me as soon as possible so I can set up those extended time limits. I cannot take late homework if you are working in a group. So if you think because of your accommodations you're going to need more than the time um, to get things in, you're going to have to do the homework all on your own. I don't suggest it. You guys, the homework will be posted within the next week. Um, you can get working on it 
early. Campus closures. Don't think we'll have any snow days this summer, um, but even so, you're online, so it doesn't matter. So the only time we would have an issue is if the Canvas site was down. Um, sometimes Canvas does do some maintenance. They usually post that ahead of time, so make sure that doesn't interfere with your quiz or exam test taking since you have these three-day um, windows. Incomplete grades. You must have completed most of the course and have um, a documentable big issue. Um, so if, if it comes down to this, we will talk one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, grievance policy, um, you're always supposed to talk to me first. Um, <clears throat> and then if it's not resolved, you can contact the chair of the department. Um, but follow this procedure. Um, I'm here to help you and I want to know if there are issues. This is just a little bit about letters of recommendation. Um, basically, you've got to have take a class with me at the 4000 level before I would consider writing you a letter of recommendation. I need to see your writing skills, your communication skills, and get to know you <coughs> Excuse me, at that higher level. Um, but this would satisfy having one of those courses with me. Um, like I said, I don't have extra page designated office hours this summer um, that I will be here in the fall and um, I would love to get to know you guys so um, we can communicate online um, you can come we can set up times if we need to you can come see me in the fall if you don't hate me by then um, but I'm here for you I am here to support you so please 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 um, send me an email when you have questions or concerns. All right, that is it for the syllabus. Thanks.